Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Go. So today we are continuing the GS5 course on APSC. So last class we have discussed about the agriculture and the agricultural sector in Assam. Today we will continue the remaining portion of food crops. Last class we have discussed about the rice and today's topic is wheat. So wheat is introduced in Assam in the last few decades. It is carried out as a supplementary crop by some farmers over the higher lands. Normally it is grown as a second crop on less productive land and the crop is generally grown over high ground which is not generally used for aman or sali which is our traditional crop. Let us see some facts about the wheat cropping in Assam. So the seeds are sown in the month of October to November and are harvested in the months of January and March. So in 2001, Assam produced about 86,000 metric tons of wheat over 70,000 hectares of land. This yield per hectare was 1,219 kg. So it can be said that the production is very low. As it is grown from the month of October, November to January, March, thus it can be said that it is a winter crop. So it is grown as a rabi crop. The varieties that are commonly grown in Assam are Sonalika, Safet, Koilan, Sona and Lorma. So presently it is produced in Kamrup, Nalbari, Borpeta and Dhubri district of Assam. The total production of the crop increased from 3000 tons in 1960 to 61 to 86,000 in 2000 to 2001. The reason why the wheat cultivation has not picked up in Assam is that it has to be cultivated in dry season. Since there is no artificial irrigation, the production of wheat is also low in the state. The next important food crop grown in Assam is the maize. Junukami makoi buliko. Maize ata zote is the important crop hoy. Junto bikheke hill area practice kora hoy. A large quantity of maize is grown in the June fields on the hills. In the plains, only small patches of land given to this crop in the kitchen gardens. The maize is generally grown as a aman crop in Assam. The seeds are sown in the month of March to May and harvested in August to September. It is mainly produced in the district of Kabianglong and North Kachar hills in the June fields. Besides, some Nepali and XT gardens residents also uh, grow this crop. Hegana me mainly Makoi Keti hills area or hill slope broad kora de kapao or Nepali manu or it is tradition hoy. Totapi it is just domestic use of Kanehe Keti kora hoy. Kintu Jodi manure and fertilizer properly use hoy, Titia hole it as a cash crop. Produce kora hobo jundu commercial purpose to use hobo. So Assam produce about 17,000 tons of maize over 40,000 uh, hectare land with yield of 807 kg per hectare. Gotike makwe production o homot jothesto kom bulia ko opari. So next we come to the pulses. Assam grows some quantity of pulses. But the state is not self-sufficient in this. Patrol pisot diarrhea amar second most staple food. Totapiu kam amount or pulse kheti kora hoy. Sob district kote kora hoy totapiu jothesto kam. So pulses are grown as a rabi crop. It is shown in August to September and harvested in December to January. The common varieties that are grown in Assam are the Tur or Arhar, which is also called as the Pigeon Pea or Small Pea or the Red Gram. Some amount of Arhar is also grown in the areas inhabiting by the tree garden laborers. Apart from the above varieties, some local varieties of pulses are also grown in Assam. Uh, so, including all that, Assam produces between 40,000 tons. Uh, to 55,000 tons of all pulses over about 80,000 to 1 lakh hectares of land.
thus from the point of view of production it can be said as a minor crop in assam the next important food crop is the oil seeds ami green recently huni aisu je india oil seed production er khetrot jothesto pish pori ase to jothesto edible oil import kori bolaga hoy so assam grows several varieties of oil seeds but the state is also not sufficient in edible oil the oil seed grown in the state are mustard and rape seeds the sesame castor linseed and the groundnut almost all the oil seeds except castor are grown as rabi crops in assam the oil seeds especially the mustard and the sesame are grown over silted flood plains during dry season also the mustard and rape seeds are the common oil seed grown in the region with total production of 141000 tons in 2000 to 2001 over 322000 hectare of land so this oil seeds are sown in the months of september to october and harvested in january to february the sesame can be called as a minor oil seed in assam from the point of view of its production in 2000 to 2001 assam produced 8000 tons over 15000 hectare of land only a small quantity of linseed is grown in assam especially in barak valley this linseed is also a variety of oil seed in assam which has a very low productivity besides that the castor jundu kami akrut buli ko ki jani Uh, the castor is grown in some parts of assam mainly to use its leaves to feed the airy silkworms ami jano assamot sericulture jothesto practice kora hoy to bikheke jundu castor or pat bure eri bro khuabo karane he etu cropping kora hoy ji hok ji alop solop oil produce hoy jay does many farms maintained by the agriculture and sericulture Uh, department of a state grows castor plants besides this traditional oil seeds soya bean and another source of oil has recently been introduced in the northeast region it is said that the assam soil and climate is suitable for soya bean its production is seen in karbianglong morigao and barpeta district cultivation of sunflower has also been introduced in assam in the recent years to ekhini amar major food crops moi abis gute ekhini moi cover koilu so next we move to the cash crops cash crop is an agricultural crop which is grown to sell for profit rather than to eat or used by themselves the soil and climate of assam is such that it can produce a variety of tropical crops of this jute sugar cane uh, mesta and cotton are the traditionally common let us first take the most important crash crop in assam that is the jute jundu ami mora pat buli ko jute is an important fiber crop grown in the low lying plains and the monsoonal climate কারণ মৰাপাত খেতিৰ বাবে যথেষ্ট বৰষুণ আৰু হাই টেম্পেৰেচাৰ লাগে সো শীটছ আৰ শ্বন অন লো লাইং চিল্টেড এৰিয়াছ ইন দ্য মান্থছ অফ মাৰ্চ এণ্ড এপ্ৰিল দ্য ফাইবাৰ ইজ এক্সট্ৰাক্টেড আফ্টাৰ কাটিং দ্য ট্ৰাংকছ এণ্ড ৰেটিং দেম আণ্ডাৰ ৱাটাৰ ইন দ্য মান্থছ অফ ছেপ্টেম্বৰ এণ্ড অক্টোবৰ দ্য ক্ৰপ নিডছ ষ্টেণ্ডিং ৱাটাৰ ইন দ্য ফিল্ড হুৱেন ছিডলিংছ গ্ৰো টু এ হাইট অফ হাফ এ মিটাৰ এণ্ড এভ that is why the jute is normally grown in the flood plains of the brahmaputra and the barak and their large tributaries kotike okhomot jothesto jute cropping dekha jay assam now produces about 1/8 of the total jute production of the country about 81% of the total area devoted to jute in the regions of assam This crop contributes largely to the economy of Assam along with the tree, oil and timber. In recent years, efforts have been made to improve the quality and augment the production of jute in Assam. For this purpose, development of blocks 
have been included under the special youth development progress program and that uh, blocks are the gauripur bilasipara and south salmara gosai gaon in kokrajhar then rupashi and govardhan in barpeta borkhetri in nalbari haju in kamrup dalgao sialmari majbat in darang district and so on let us come to remi so remi is similar to jute which is also a fiber crop uh, and it is uh, a minor crop in assam it is said that remi is the hardest of the natural fibers and is also known as the vegetable steel fiber or vegetable silk fiber this is widely grown uh, and used in south asia and asia the fiber has worldwide market because it can be blended with synthetic fibers like polyester and with cotton to produce durable clothes assam government is encouraging the farmers to grow it in their fallow lands taking cue from the government some of the tea planters have started growing remi over the fallow lands of their tea gardens however this remi crop is having too much problem because farmer faces loss after its production the problems associated with the remi production can be discussed as the lack of an assured market because assam of jute to basically use kara hoy ar tar upori jundu demagging facility lage modern demagging facility heburi ate nai boli koise so demagging is simply the process of extracting the best silk after harvesting So this was about Remy. Let us discuss about sugar cane. The sugar cane is an important traditional crop of Assam. It is grown in relatively high and fertile flat ground. Jodi o hamot sugar cane o kheti kora hoy, but heavy rainfall and flooding often limits its growth. However, uh, the crop is grown over about 30000 hectares of land in assam and it is uh, mostly used uh, to produce gur juntu gur to gure aru and the molasses juntu uh, ami julia mithoi buli ko for domestic use অসমত সুগার কেন খেতি করা সবতকে বেছিকে খেতি করা ডিস্ট্রিক্টস পুরো ভিতরত গোলাঘাট জোরহাট শিবসাগর নগাঁও নলবাড়ি এন্ড বরপেটা আর কমন গতি এটা সময়ত অসমত সুগার কেন প্রডাকশন এজ ওয়েল এস সুগার মিল দুইটাই যথেষ্ট চলিছিল তেনেকা দুটাম সুগার মিল হল ওয়ান ইজ এট দ্য বরুয়া বামুন গাঁও ইন গোলাঘাট and the other is the khansari mill near kampur in nogaon district but both mills have now turned out to be sick because of irregular supply of the can kotike tare bhabe sugar mills bu to bondho hoy goise logote production u agotke jothesto alop kom dekha goise so the various region behind the backwardness of the production can be said as the use of the archaic methods of cultivation then the absence of uh, artificial irrigation then lack of use of fertilizer or manure however uh, government have recently decided to revive the sugar mills which they will use to produce ethanol that can be blended with fuel গতি এইখিনি হল সুগার কেনের উপর আর আপনাদের ইথানল ব্রেন্ডর উপর কিছু কারেন্ট এফেয়ার আছে এইখিন চাই লোক নেক্সট উই কম টু রবার সো দ্য ক্লাইমেট এন্ড সয়েলস অফ আসাম ইজ মোর সুইটেবল ফর রবার প্লান্ট ইটস লং সিজন রেইনফল ফ্রম এপ্রিল টু লেট সেপ্টেম্বর এন্ড দ্য ফার্টাইল হিল সোপ প্রোভাইড ফেভারেবল কন্ডিশন ফর রবার ট্রি Assam uh, used to export natural rubber between 1896 to 97 and 1900 to 01 at the rate of 140 to 150 tons annually but the production 
went down due to the cheap rubber imported from Malaysia and Brazil. So let us see the evolution of the rubber crop in Assam. So in 1957, the Department of Soil Converge Conservation Government of Assam started planting rubber in small patches of uh, land on experimental basis. Uh, then in 1976, the Soil Conservation Department of Assam in collaboration with the Assam Plantation Crop Development Corporation started planting rubber for commercial purpose. Then in 2001-2002, Assam produced 1757 tons of rubber over 1,28,000 sorry it's 12,800 hectare of land. By that time there are 15 private rubber planters uh, sector in Assam now. Yare Vitorot Burha Pahar, Rangangara, Dholamara, Borgao, Boitalangsu, Ebur Kisman important hoy, good eta monotakimon alaga. Thus, looking at the growing demand of the natural rubber in Indian market, the rubber plantation has a bright future in the region. So, Ekiniazimo complete Korilu uh, cash crops, Aramar food crops, Kegol. Arukizani eta part lagibo, Zuntut Amar agriculture and agricultural sector part two, complete hoizabo. Tomo logoti are notes kin in my description section at eight koidim. So, as you can hear, keep studying and thanks for watching.